everyone. Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I'm in the garden. I am about to plant some radishes. I want to uh, start with my cleanup, y'all, but I don't even know where to start. Every time I start uh, looking at something, I just become overwhelmed. So I'm trying my best to just do some little bitty tasks because I need to pull out the um, trees, the citrus trees. They're in the garage. I want to pull them out, let them get some uh, air. I need to water them also. Then I have those pepper plants that I uh, left in the garage trying to overwinter them and you know all the leaves uh, died on them but the plant still seems to be in pretty good shape so I want to go ahead I want to cut that back some then there is all of these decaying plants that I still want to get out so I know it's going to take a while to do it so I'm trying not to become overwhelmed so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead I'm going to plant some uh, daikon radishes because right before we had the uh, snowstorm I had planted some and they were uh, had germinated and everything but now they're gone they're dead so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to replace them the ones that I had were some uh, daikon I'm gonna turn the camera around so you all can see what I'm looking at okay the ones that I had planted were some daikon I had here I had some red arrow in the center and over here were the new ones that I had just gotten from Baker Creek. And those were the purple plum radishes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to um, amend this bed with some all-purpose granule plant food and some Joe's Organic Bone Meal. These gloves are thick. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear them. I'm going to have to get some more gloves. They are, I don't know what they're for, but I don't think they're for being out in the garden. So I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna need to put these gloves on for this. But y'all, I still got my uh, covers laying all over the garden. I have not gotten those put up yet. And the um, reason why I haven't gotten them put up, with, put up yet is because I don't know where to put them. I'm serious. I do not know where to put it because all the stuff is wet. So, well, some of it, this one's kind of close to being dry. So, y'all, I, I thought something was coming from under here. I told y'all that the rabbit came from under one of my uh, blankets. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it has warmed up a little bit today, so I don't want anything to come out. But this one is not wet, so I may be able to shake this out and... Um, Think about taking it and putting it in that washing machine. Y'all told me about that washing machine already. Washing machine don't want you putting nothing in it that that's very heavy. I guess it might wash a couple of sheets. But y'all, I'm seeing something. Okay, that was that looked like some. Um, I thought that maybe some daikon radishes were still alive, but that's just it, it was nothing. So. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this bone meal in. This bone meal will help those daikon radishes to uh, form their roots. Let's get on the other side. The wind is blowing it. I want to blow it directly in my face. So let's go ahead and put some on here like this. And y'all, I probably got at least 20 of those little hand breaks. But right now, I can't find a single one. I probably run up on it accidentally out here. And I'm not looking for one. I'm probably about ready to go back in the house after I've used this little shovel. Y'all ain't come out here to be uh, venting because that's what that's, things happen like that. What I'm going to do it. I'm just going to break this up. And this soil, this is some nice fluffy soil. So these daikon radishes, to, to love it, they have a... Well, I've planted some daikon radishes in here before. They did, they did okay. Okay, so I'm probably to get this better with that um, rake. I'm sure I could. I have a big rake over there. Okay, so I can just leave my labels in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my saw out some. A little bit more of this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I have my seeds in my pocket. Okay, so here are my daikon. And it is getting late in the season. So, you know, I can get these out by the end of February. By the end of February, we should be harvesting these. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these on here. Not berries. I'm gonna sprinkle them too thick, okay? We got a few left. them in and get them some good contact. Okay, in the center I'm going to put those red arrows. These are the red arrows. There are not very many of these, so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to sprinkle all these red arrows and then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the rest of those daikons. Because there's not many in here. So we will be having to get us some more of these radish seeds. Because that is all of the daikon in the red arrow. So right here I am going to put the purple plum. Okay, so these are the purple plum radish I got from Baker Creek, and so I'm going to go ahead and plant some of these right here where they were planted before. So I have never had any of these before, but these are some of the seeds that I was planting to try to get some of those anthocyanins in my food, getting some more purple foods. Um, to growing in my garden so I'm gonna go ahead and get started back on those because I haven't been able to harvest anything since I got these seeds. I'm go ahead and water this in. And then we're gonna go ahead and get those watered back in. I did not cover my seeds, but I'm going to just press them. Get some good soil contact. I don't want them just sitting on top of the soil. But you don't want to compact it too much. But those daikons, especially, they will find their way. They will break through that soil. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to clean some of this up. This bed that is directly behind. I just want to go ahead and get some of these plants. If they are not looking really good. I want to see what I can salvage and what has to go. As I was dragging some of these covers out, I thought about I might not need to take these covers too far away because we're still in uh, winter. So we could have another um, snowstorm. I, you know, I hope we don't, but we could. So I'm not going to take these covers too far away. I'm going to leave them out here. I'll just put a brick or something on them and put them, you know, somewhere more neat instead of having them just laying all over the place. And this collard green looks wonderful. I found me another glove, but something was sticking me. It was a little plastic. So this one, I can take some of these leaves off of this cabbage. I hope this cabbage go ahead and heads up so I can make some coleslaw. 
when I do, I'll uh, show you all that video. I know most people probably know how to make some coleslaw, but, uh, you know, I would be making mine from a vegan standpoint, so it would be a little different. Pull some of these leaves off of this broccoli. This broccoli is looking kind of bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So the chicken's about to get a head of broccoli. I'm going to need to take it to them. Because not only does it look, it looks like it's kind of, I don't know what that is. It's like it's rotting. That's what it is. It's starting to rot. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And I am not worried about this, you know, stuff that I'm taking out because y'all, I can, this stuff can grow back really fast. Although I probably won't uh, be uh, getting any more broccoli because don't, I won't be, I'm not saying I won't get any more. I won't be planting very much more broccoli because I'm, I'm ready to start thinking about putting in my, my spring and summer crop. So. I'm, I'm not gonna put anything, any more brassicas in. That's gonna take a long, long time to grow because then they will be taking up space that I'll be needing for my spring and summer crops. Now, if I already have some stuff planted, that's different, but now those um, radishes will take less than a month to grow. So I have plenty of time for them to grow and to get them out. But uh, some things, if you plant them now, you won't, you'll have them. They'll be, uh, before you're able to harvest them, it'll be time to plant your spring and summer crops. Get your tomatoes and things like that. And they'll be, your brassicas will still be in the ground trying to make a head. Now, I don't want to have that happen. I don't need all that. That that's that's stressful when you have things like that going on. You wanna get this uh, make this be as stress free as possible. Start putting things in that can kind of take care of themselves. Which you know they all will still need water. But I'm talking about as for you won't have to be out here uh, babysitting them. been stressful enough on everyone that we don't need any plants out here that we need to babysit. I'm going to go ahead this plant here still has some side shoots coming up on it. It still has a lot of them. I'm trying to remove some of the bad leaves from it. these plants a little too close because I'm sure some sort of little bug is probably in here. So I didn't bring my wagon. But what I'll do is take these on over to the chickens. And see, that's one bed that's uh, about cleaned out. And I just keep coming back and checking on it. If I see anything that's decaying or looking bad, but I am going to be giving it some uh, fish emulsion. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and give this to the chickens, and then I'll go ahead and give it the fish emulsion right now. You know, they wait, too. Y'all, the wind has been blowing, and it has blown my uh, landscape fabric all over the place. That's another job that I got to do. I got to start to uh, 
packing it all back down. I still have not even picked up the pots. Okay, see what it looks like? The landscape fabric blowing everywhere, pots still laying over on their sides. Because it's been raining since it stopped snowing. And then it was still so cold, but it did get warm one day, but we had an appointment, we were gone all day. And so that one day that the sun was shining, we were gone. So we uh, didn't really get a chance to do anything that day. And then it uh, started raining. So this is what we're faced with, but it's gonna be baby steps, y'all. Baby steps. Okay, so I got some water in my watering can. I think I'm gonna go ahead and after pouring this out, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my uh, five gallon bucket. But I was just using some of my rainwater that was close uh, to the house. And so I'll go get the rainwater that's on the front after I finish pouring this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some of my, I'm just gonna guess about how much two tablespoons is. Stir it up. And it has been raining a lot, so this uh, bed has already been watered enough. And so now I'm going to go ahead and feed it with some of this fish emoji. Try to pour it more at the roots. And this fish emulsion is usually really good at giving plants a boost. It's like 911 for plants. If they're sick, this fish emulsion can bring them. If they can be bought back, the fish emulsion will bring them back. If the fish emulsion don't bring them back, you might as well go ahead and pull them out. it's just a good boost of nitrogen because it has five nitrogen and one phosphorus and one potassium. It just gives them a nice boost of organic nitrogen. Okay, so that bed is done. It has been taken care of. I have uh, cut off most of the uh, decaying leaves and now I've given a dose of fish emulsion. We have planted some radishes and so we're gonna go ahead and work on we're gonna work on another bed let me I'll, I'll decide here in just a second which bed is gonna be I think it's gonna be this broccoli bed over here the one that I had in the wheelbarrow because it's looking like it needs to just get um, fed to the chickens and this is the bed that I'm speaking of and y'all I cannot be sad about this bed uh, having to get fed to the chickens because we have harvested a lot of food from this one little wheelbarrow ready bed. Well, it's not really ready. It's really ready. It's not ground. So, right now my, let's see, it wants to act up. I don't know. Okay. It was me. It wasn't this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut it out. There's no need in this. Should I cut it all the way down? Yep. It's not gonna come back. We, we, we can uh, go ahead and, but you all, this is the bed that I told you came back. This, I did not plant this broccoli this season, this broccoli came back from last season. So it can come back. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take it and throw it into the chicken soup and let them eat it. I'm gonna clean this bed out and get it ready for something else. This cabbage. I'm 
Well, it has some spots on the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this cabbage, I'm gonna give it to the chickens. Now this small cabbage right here, I am just going to take these outside leaves off of it. I'm gonna leave these baby leaves. Clean the dead. Still got this big stalk. In some of these beds, I will be adding some uh, compost cow manure, some topsoil. If those beds need to be uh, built up some, I'll be adding some of those other mixes to it to raise the level of the soil and to uh, amend the soil. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some fish emulsion in that bed after I take this to the chickens. I'm just gonna pour some of my fish emulsion into my can. Now I'm gonna drain the water out of this sink. I'm gonna stick my hand in this water though, cause it's cold, I'm sure. Well, I still had to stick my hand in there. Stir it up. I found me some thinner gloves. Okay, so now we can go ahead and feed this plant. I had this steak in here to support that big broccoli plant. So I won't be needing that right now. All of this is for that little cabbage plant. Try to give it a boost, get it back on its feet. Okay, so next we're gonna do this bed that's right next to it. This one up. It's been laying on the ground for a few days now. So get it, up. it will be moving soon because I'm going to be putting the raised bed for the earth where it is sitting. So I may as well just go ahead and move it right now. Hopefully it won't fall over anymore. But this is the raised bed that we're about to check out to see what needs to come out. And from where I'm standing, it's looking pretty good. It looks like that might be a good candidate for my coleslaw right there. Either one. Let me fill them to see. It's not soft, it don't feel bad, it don't look bad. We're gonna leave it in there. And this one is the same. We're gonna leave both of those in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these weeds out. I'm 
it's hard to tell what's weeds in this bed. I can tell that some of this, uh, this soy is dead. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Got some onions in here that I will be leaving in here. I can just cut the tops off of them. Have some rosemary back there that I can just uh, give a good trim. And then there is some spinach underneath here that looks fine. I don't know what this is. I told y'all I was gonna stop staying there, but I, I need to bring my, I guess I got it. A plant identifier to see what it is. I see a little cricket survived over there. So all the pests are not dead. We already knew that. Okay, and I didn't bring my wagon over here, but right now, y'all, it's so much stuff on the ground that it's just hard to get my wagon through here. So I just didn't bring it. I just uh, rather just walk over there and give it to the chickens. And I could get a, a bucket or something. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tops off of these onions. It's just gonna make them look better. And now I'm just going to give this bed some fishy moss. Y'all, under normal circumstances, the pansies can stand up to it. But this was too much for even the pansies. So I'm just going to cut them. Like this. And I'm sure they'll, they'll uh, start back to growing again. And then they'll grow on until it warms up. They don't like the heat. And obviously, they don't like extreme cold. I just have a steak knife that I'm using to trim these plants back. As I told you all, I was having problems finding all my supplies. But my daughter's been cleaning up, so she's been helping me, and I appreciate it. So when she helps me, though, I can't find stuff sometimes, but I'd rather not be able to find it than her not help me with the cleaning. She's been a big help today.
Okay, so I've got most of these cleaned up pretty good. The way I'm satisfied with it. Got some strawberry plants down here that they will come back. I'm just going to go ahead and trim the top off of them. Pull some of these weeds that are grew in here out. Okay, so this is looking much better. And I will also give it some fish motion. Okay, this raised bed has a cabbage in it and has, I think that's a cabbage also. Both, this is a cabbage and then that's the cabbage. And they both look like they're in really good shape. I'm going to go ahead and I've got some fish emulsion in this five gallon bucket. I'm just going to pour it in to this bed. And there's a lot of other plants in this bed. Some of them have uh, been recently planted, but they have been established because if they had not, they would have died. So that bed is looking pretty good. Okay, y'all, in this area right here, I have my carrots and they look horrible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the carrots that are in here out And I'm going to take them in the house, and we're going to eat these. The tops are about dead, so we're going to put them in this five-gallon bucket and give to the chickens. Uh-oh, lost one of my carrots. It's not a whole bunch, but it's enough. It's enough for a, I can put these in my coleslaw. That's a nice one right there. I didn't bring a harvest basket out here, harvest bowl. Okay, let's see what we got in the other one. I'm finna take care of this rose bush also. I'm gonna see what I got in this other bed over here, this other carrot bed. It has not done very much all season, but it did put off, I'll show you. I know I, I didn't bring the camera with me, but I'll show you what I just got out of that bed that has not done very much all season. So it did put off a little harvest, so. We are thankful for that. What's that noise? A rabbit. Where did he come from? I see him running underneath the storage building. I don't know what he's into over there. It's just a little rabbit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take these into the house. This is my harvest for today. Okay, so I went and got me a bag of potting mix. And I'm just going to pour some on top. Just freshen them up my soil. Oh. On both of these beds. I'm thinking that this is what this bed needs is more potting mix. Get my little shovel over here.
soil is nice and moist. I'm going to add some of this bone meal. And some of this granulated plant food. And unlike the onions, these carrots go deep, so we need this plant food to be deep. And I bought out several seeds. I bought out my cosmic purple. I don't want a whole to fill this bed over there. I'm gonna put that in the other bed. I'm gonna put these uh, long imperator and these Danvers and these Chatonay, Chantonay. I'm gonna sprinkle these in here. I don't have very many seeds there. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them in here. in the center. Those are the long imperiators. The first one was the Danver and this one is the Chantonay. Not many seeds left in here either. Okay, y'all, which one I say was the first one? Okay, Danvers. Then the long imperator. And the chantonay. That just says carrot, so I'll leave that right there. I think today is the 29th. And now for this other bed, over here with me. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can dig this up a little. Fluffing up my soil just a little. I'm going to add my amendment. Got this granulated plant food and some bone meal.
So be sure that you're fluffing your soil when you're planting carrots. Make sure that those carrots can break through that soil. I'm gonna go ahead and plant these purple Cosmic purple is what they're called. So sprinkle some on the top of the soil. I have some of these plants in another bed, but these, this is all I have left. So this bed, I think I can keep some of these. I got a few more, I'm gonna keep them. Hopefully I have one more label in here, I do. And here's my marker. These are cosmic purple carrots. One twenty nine. I'm just gonna water these in. But first, I wanna go ahead and take care of this rose bush. Because as y'all can see, it has had it. And I just wanna give it a hard, hard prune. It is just sitting here looking awesome. So hopefully it can snap back from this hard prune. And it is full of thorns. So I do not want to pick this up with my hand. I got a bucket back here. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed the video today and that you'll give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. And go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.